Okay. I'm Neville Mike, and welcome back to Challenge Mode. Uh, where we last left off, uh, we had defeated the uh, zombies and the mages and all that, and we are now right outside of Man Arena, and we need to talk to Anri. Uh, there's several things we can do in this town. Land of Magic and Mystery. It's like a, a mage's school, I guess. Oh, so they attacked us. It wasn't even Runefast. Even though Runefast enemies like dark, dark Dwarves. Okay, whatever. Okay, so this is Headquarters and Priest. We need to go ahead and talk to Anri. What does this sign say? Yeah, Mage School. I was right. This is Anri. So she's kind of not interested in hearing what we have to say. And then Nova shows up and gives context. <laughs> uh, this, I think, is the first time the game has mentioned the Sword of Light. That is the treasure that Kane stole from Guardiana. cheer her up. But there's other things we can do first. So they blocked off this room because someone lit a fire in it. I think we can actually get to that room. Uh, what is this? Oh, I remember this. He's researching summoning demons. Now I'm going to begin the experiment. I shall summon a dreadful thing from my worst nightmares. Come forth, O creature of darkness, I conjure, conjure you forth. You get it? Is the thing from his worst nightmares is his wife? Ha ha ha, funny. Ha ha ha. It's a stupid joke, but oddly fitting for a game as silly as this at times. Uh, that's one thing I do like about this game a lot, though, is every town has, like, some interesting interaction. It's not just like, oh, hey, here's another town. Like, in the last town we had that play in Alteron, there's um, a couple people that'll talk to you, and then there's the the one woman who tells your fortune. Um, should probably give context to what I'm doing right now. Uh, Max has discovered a Domingo Egg. Um, it is an item that can give us a character in Chapter 4. So I'm just going to pass this to Tau. Uh, there's Andrew, but first... I have a question for you, everyone. Have you ever wanted to be a hen? Or a rooster? Because we're going to turn into one of those. I can't remember if it, maybe it's a chicken. Yes, a hen. If we can change humans to hens, we won't ever have to worry about food? What? That's... Cannibalism, but you're just giving you less food. What? I mean, should I really be surprised that the person who turned me into a hen is insane? Uh, that is Arthur. He is a character we will get um, not before the next battle, but after the next battle. So, Henry at least can tell it's us, but. <laughs> She has, like, no concern for the fact that I've been turned into a hen. I have to go over here, I think, to get changed back, if I remember correctly. There's a slide. Yeah. This is, like, the headmaster's office or something? I can't remember. Yeah, VIP Mage's Lounge? Okay. And we can become human again. Yay! Okay. Yeah, 
if we go down here, here is the room that someone burned down. Oh, this must be Andrew's room. Oh, I never heard this. I don't think there's anything you can see, but the books, you know... Uh, mention Memories of Guardiana. It sounds like, like it would be her diary or something. That's interesting. One thing that, uh, I really like about this game is it's the... Compared to the other games in the series, it has a very like, darker palette. And then stuff like that, like, May mentions vengeance when Varios dies, and then, like, she wants vengeance for, uh, Cain killing her father. Again, this is Arthur, he used to be a knight. Uh, he will join after the next battle, I believe, if I talk to him. But, yeah, just, like, the other games are very, uh, a lot more colorful, and very anime-esque, especially after, uh, the second one, but this is like very darker tones. It's very dark fantasy, which I liked a lot. It stands out as well for being the the first game in the series, technically. The first game in the Shining Four series. So this three four eyed person is Otrant, and he asks, "You wish to find the key to the cursed door before Canterbury's house?" Yes, I do. A legend tells that the Pool of the Ancients below is tied in with the Accursed Door. To reach the pool, we must first need the Orb of Light from the Cavern of Darkness. Defeat the monsters in the cavern, and the orb is yours. Then return to me. Max, enter the cavern and retrieve the Orb of Light. Okay, then. So, we also uh, have Henry now. And uh, she is a mage. Oh boy, look at those stats. <laughs> so she starts off really weak. Oh, she has a power staff too. Okay. Um, she has 8 HP, 10 MP, decent attack, but that's because of power staff. Terrible defense and good agility with high HP. Or, um, not high HP. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. Ignore me. <laughs> So she has, she's only level 3, so our goal in this battle is to try to get her 2 levels. I don't care about anyone else, if they, like, healers I would like to gain levels, sure, but, like, the goal is for her. And in order to do that, the first thing I need to do is to give this power staff to someone, and I'm going to give it to Chris, because Chris is by far the better healer and would probably be the better overall attacker. Go ahead and click that. That shoots Chris's attack up to 19. Wow. So that puts her... I'll check in a second. Oh, I didn't go over the battle. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Do that in just a second. Okay, so there's a lot of enemies here. We have zombies again, more mages, more snipers, bats. Bats are still around, unfortunately. And then we have more mages up here, which... Fuck. And then this guy is a skeleton. He's basically a super zombie. And, I mean, it's the boss of this level, but it becomes a pretty standard enemy after this. So, it has more attack than the zombie, more defense than the zombie, and more agility than the zombie. Same HP, though. So, one reason I want to get Anri two levels is because, well, I need <laughs> desperately for someone to, uh be able to cast blaze and hit multiple targets, especially those uh, zombies and stuff like that. Anri is amazing, though. If I can keep her alive, like, she is, like, the best mage in the game by far. She learns Freeze, which is a slightly more MP-costing spell, but it's more powerful than Blaze. Uh, and uh, she, on promotion, will gain a ton of defense. Like, she becomes, like, a tank. I, I don't understand why, but she does, and it's ridiculous how powerful she is. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the board up there. I know they won't move. I don't think they move. They might move if I attack them, though. So 
So let's get Gord up there. No, not low. That would be bad. Good job, double attack. That's perfect. I can just have uh, Andrea finish them off right away. I can have one start on the other one. Or can't even. I do want to give that spirit of May. What level is May at? Four? Oh god, I really haven't been paying attention. She needs to get a kill on something. I thought she was at least level five. Ken's like at 6. I guess that spear's really getting him some extra experience. Plus his attack is higher. At least for now. Ow. Spree's not bad. As long as it doesn't poison him, he'll be fine. Yeah, it's not bad. Andrew, anytime you want to go, that'd be fantastic. What the hell, Ken? I mean, it makes more sense to have Ken keep the spear for now, just because May can't do any damage as it is anyway, really. Okay, level 6, very good. Defense by 1, speed by 1. Eh, that could be worse. Man, where does it mean research? There we go, okay. Kill that one. Oh, I still have an equipment with the staff. That's fine. He's only gonna do like one damage with this uh, staff I just switched her with anyway. Go ahead and heal Bort. Make sure he stays up. Don't want any crits or anything to kill him by accident. Crits and, and double attacks in this game are like the worst for me right now. Pretty sure that's how I lost Gong, was double attack. Just get everybody through here. Okay, I'm trying to remember how this mage operates. I don't think it does anything. If I do that, it may kill it. Not all good down the room. Oh no, it killed it. Good. Okay. So I just need her to it pack something pretty much and she'll get a level again. I just can't keep her near the zombie or the mage because blaze will destroy her. So she gets some HP. I think I get pretty close without the any of the enemies pulling. This is probably the easiest battle in this entire uh, chapter. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Put him like right there and see if that pulls the mage. I don't think it will. No, okay. Cool. If that doesn't move the zombie, the mage isn't gonna move either. Then let's get. So, could she just snipe him from there? I'm not gonna try it. Not right now, anyway. Just those three chests, right? Is there a fourth one? No, there's a fourth one down here. I should probably, probably try to spread on and get those as soon as I clear these. Maybe I should do that now. Yeah, I could send Max up here to get this. Can get the other one? This can not do that much right now. I want to see if this pulls. I got a pretty good defensive setup right now. from there. No, okay. Well, shit. Okay. Well, Henry, you're doing some work. 
what's in here? A wooden staff. Worthless. Okay. Go gain a level from this. Level four, attack by one, hit points by one, magic by six? Holy crap! Okay, well, uh, that's helpful. If you can stay alive. Go ahead, ones. Keep whittling from it's health, even though. Almost have they ever finished it off. The mages are really the only big threat on here. Well, I guess the skeleton is too. Power staff! Awesome! Okay, I can give that to either Lo or Andri. Andri's not really gonna attack much of anything, though. But she is gonna run an MP this battle, which you could kill a bat. Okay, I'll think about it. It will eventually be lows, though. For sure. Should probably let. If I go here or here, the mage is gonna get. Well, even if he does, that won't kill either of them. Poor game a lot of experience. That's probably wasn't a good idea. Oh, 32, okay. That's not terrible. Try to kill the mage now, though. If I do that, his defense isn't high enough. Probably stop those snipers. Oh, this may have been a terrible mistake. Good points? Oh, there's Hans. Um. Shoot. Just move back, I guess. Why is that mage on yet? Seriously, we're cycling around in the, to a full turn here. I don't understand what's happening. Okay, there we go. Doesn't get to go again before Bork does. We're good. Um. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Need experience anyway, mate. Okay, I'm gonna get back. And let's go on there. Hans or Andrew, you know what I'm saying? I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Oh my god, that didn't kill it. Uh-oh. Andrew, I need to be your turn, like, right now. Wait, he's got a spirit. He can do it. <sighs> Don't ask him. Okay, good. That was wildly unnecessary, but... Hans just doesn't have good attack. He is gonna get a new weapon... I believe in the battle after this one, but how well he's going to be able to use it is an entirely other story. Okay, I'm not going to have you do anything yet. I'll have her kill some bats, I think. Yeah, Max, go right ahead. You got decent defense. You can kill one of these guys, probably. Yep, with a crit, you definitely can. Very nice. Level 6. Attack by 1, speed by 2. Eh. More defense, but I'll take what I can get. And may work on this, because you'll probably get a level soon. You don't need a lot of experience. 18, yeah, that'll do it. May level 5 and gains nothing. Are you kidding me, May? <sighs> okay. So just kill this Luke. Heal. Fort back up. I'll give Ken to give the staff to Henry, and then she can hit some of the bats for decent damage. 
And the healers, too. Okay. Yeah, just go there, Max. You should be fine. Just don't forget to equip this. Mental note. Here they come. I'm gonna try to save her MP for the skeleton if I can, or at least one blaze to weaken it. It would be very helpful. Okay, Hans. How much damage is Hans gonna take from this? Yeah, three's not bad. He can survive that. That other bat being right there attacking him too, though. So let's get in here and just start attacking him. That's okay. What is her attack? 16. Isn't that exactly what Amory's was with the power staff? Oh, I can't reach him. I'm actually gonna have to move. something and I would be okay with it. I didn't need to thin, thin these out a bit, so... Oh my god, you didn't kill it, eh? What the hell? Um... You know what? Let's go ahead and use one blaze. Oh, I just keep the mimic. Put that stupid weapon. That's 30. That's good. He just can't take a hit. The choice between Max or Henry, they're probably gonna choose Max, so. I let Henry kill the one with one HP. Things just don't do much of anything anymore to most of people. Yeah, hey, Ken, go. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead, Ken. Fear this one. Yeah, decent damage for experience is nothing, but every little bit helps. Okay, so what level are these two at? Right here. experience 19 and 47. Okay. You know what? Go for it, Chris. Wow. Okay. Yeah, just kill that one, Chris. That's fine. What is this going to do to Ken? Two? Okay, yeah, he's fine. God, he's got better defense than Hans, and he's like the worst. Let's go up right there. Go. I don't want to heal. Hans. Oh boy. Shouldn't do that much. Okay, three's fine. You should be okay. I'm gonna don't surrender. Get the phones back up. Some of the damage. Right here. Yeah, 
go right there. That way Avery is still protected. Oh yeah, they're just gonna swarm back. Okay, that's fine. And of course I'm not gonna slate that figures. <laughs> I should be surprised, but I'm not. Let's go back here, Lance. You don't need experience from these. Henry does though. Okay. Well. 17, yeah, wow, that's pretty high. I mean, for a caster, especially for a mage. Oh, don't miss! Oh my god, if it attacks her and kills her, I'm gonna be so pissed. Well, can you attack? You can attack this one. Go for it. Oh, double attack, good job, Blow. Yeah, I mean, if it went for max over low, I don't think it's... Oh, of course, he's just like, again, bloody hell. I don't like it matters right now, but still. So. Oh, man, go down here. There's an item I want you to get. Chris, how close is she to 11? 66? I might get her a level. Might. Not if she misses though. As long as they're going for max. Tank it, Max. Tank those one damages. Uh, or go down here, find out whatever that's at. I'm not sure what any of these other items are, honestly. Go ahead, Henry. Stop missing! Holy. Sorry about that phone call. Okay, one more bat down. Power ring! Hands down, my favorite item in the entire game. Everyone keep missing. Okay, so the power ring essentially will give um, plus four attack, I want to say, four or five, something like that. But you can use it, and it uses a spell called attack as well. And that spell is awesome because essentially what it will do is boost someone's attack by like 15, which, especially early on, like where I'm at now, that's amazing. And in some cases, that's almost doubling people's attack. Please hit it. Thank you. Eight points of damage. That's a lot. Okay. Um. Thinking about this. She's not gonna gain a level unless she kills something. Like a skeleton. I could have her kill the skeleton. Have someone get a low, like, Gort. And then. Have, like, Cannon Hans pick away from it because it's gonna be here. So essentially if I get past the mages, you know, someone here and then two people there and then one person behind. So assuming it doesn't move, I can't remember if it moves or not though. I don't think it does, because I think it's guarded the treasure. And then that would hopefully get be very close to getting her level. He yeah, he's already very close as well. The hard part is going to be dealing with those mages. Okay, what's in here? Medical orb. Okay, that's that's fine. I need more healing items. You know what? Mm, no, probably low enough. So. I'm thinking I could give the power ring, or use the power ring, on Ken. and have him just destroy one of those mages. Someone else equip it and kill the other mage. 
and I just have one to deal with. Because Ken has a lot of HP, so even if he, for whatever reason, couldn't kill whatever he attacked, he would still be okay. Go ahead, Chris. Don't miss, please. Thank you. 37 experience? Wow, okay. Attack by one, defense by one, speed by one, hit points by three, heal level two. Good. Okay. Heal level two gives me range. So I can uh, cast it from two spaces away, essentially, but it's still the same power as heal level one. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and heal maps. but anything I don't use, I can go ahead and just have both of them just heal everybody up. Okay. Not gonna move Max up there, because I don't want him to die. Any healing? She needs healing. He does not need healing. He kind of needs healing. Oh, you're almost out of MP, but that's fine. I go ahead and give uh, the staff to Anry. Or uh, Anry's staff to Lowe. So that way he has a decent hit. And she won't be probably physically attacking anything anymore. And she's got so much of Pino. Okay, attack by one, defense by one, speed by one, the coins by two. No more MP though. Man. My healers need more MP, damn it. I mean, there's no real point in healing her. She's only missing one point. Who needs healing? May. May definitely can not so much. Let's save his MP just in case. He can always heal himself on the last turn or whatever. She's got the ring. I think I'm gonna give it to Ken. No, I'm gonna give it to Gord. Or Luke. Because he's our gunner. No, he doesn't have a ring. I gave it to Lowe, right? Or Chris, rather. Chris, right? I am losing my bloody mind. Okay, over here. Gord, go ahead and equip it. Yeah, 24. Wow. That'll be so helpful. can clean up. Uh, heal a little too. And make sure he's full. Just in case. Since Gort has low agility, he'll go near the end. I should hopefully give, because him doesn't have high agility, does he? This is only seven Gs. Seven. Who's got low agility? Um, He's got the highest. Well, maybe angry? No. No. Okay, well, his isn't terrible then. Increased by 15. Smoke rise from power ring. Okay, so that means the ring is damaged. I don't remember if the act game actually shows you when it's damaged. Let me see. No. Okay, so I need to keep track of that. So I need to repair that after this battle. 
then we're just gonna have everybody wait a turn. Go ahead, Ken. Murder it. I probably should check his attack just to show you how high I got. Well, 18 points of damage with a bronze lance. It's pretty amazing, so. Um, Andrea, as much as I would love for you to get some experience, that is not happening. See, 33 is his attack right now. That is insane. Okay, keep them separate. I could have her attack, but I'm not going to risk it. I need Gort. So I'll survive two boys level twos. Cast as well. See, it didn't even move. Good. Alright. Murder this. Good job. Okay, we got one more deal with them. That last one is anybody's. Go for it, Luke. If I can get some there. I'm not gonna get you close yet. Uh, Hans? Yeah, you're still level 5. That'll be a decent experience for you. So, normally what I do with the power ring is I give it to someone who's weaker, but. <laughs> The way things have been going, that's probably not going to go very well, so I'm probably just going to have Port keep it for now. I want to see if this guy moves out. I don't want any surprises. Um, I don't want any max up there at all. Get right there just in case. Okay, now he stays. Good. Alright, so who's swimming to him? Andrew doesn't really. Kendo's. She's got 5 MP left. I will save. Who's higher up into level 5? He's just a level 5. She's already got 30, so I'll save her MP in case I need it. And I will just. I will flow. Heal himself. It's the only way they can really get any actual uh, healing done right at the moment. Okay, what? Or to get up there first and see how much damage he takes. It's gonna be a lot. That'll be good. Come on. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot boost. Okay. Like they call it boost, but I'm pretty sure the spell is actually called attack. Because boost is another spell if I remember correctly. Wow, that actually got that really low. Okay, cool. Jesus. That's gonna do that for me. Murder it. Alright, and she should definitely get a level. Yep, level 5. Defense by 1, hit points by 1, yeah. Magic by 2, and Moon's Freeze. Good. So I got two spells now. No, it cannot be after all these centuries. Boom. Max, the Orbalite must be within that chest. Take it quickly. I shall. Max discovers an discovers actually I'd be an orb of light. <laughs> oh gosh, Genesis translations were not the greatest. Especially for RPGs. Like I'm a big fan of the Fantasy Star series. And oh my god, Fantasy Star 4 and Fantasy Star 2 have like some of the worst translations ever. Okay, so we need to go talk to Otrant and find out what we're doing next and that's probably where I will end the video. Okay. Use the orb at the pool behind the secret door below. Gee, thank you so much. That was so helpful. Okay. Orb of light. How long I have waited for this summons, Max. You are a hero without peer. The legacy of the ancients is an evil being that has been sealed away for 1,000 years. Dark Dragon, which we saw in the opening. Dark Soul now searches for the key to unlock that seal. You must stop him. That's it? Okay, then. Very vague. Thank you very much. So the uh, Orb of Light is a key item we will have with us pretty much for the rest of the game. It's 
let's just go ahead and give that to Tau. The Orbital Blade has chosen you, Max, to battle the evil that threatens Rune. You are truly the servants of the powers of light, the shining force. Cross the sea from Rindo to go to the eastern continent, you must stop Cain. Okay, then. So we have been chosen. Why? Who the heck knows? If you remember... I want to fight again. I can help you against Runefouse. I'm coming with you. Arthur joins the Shining Force. Yay! So, here's the thing about Arthur. He can be amazing. I don't remember if I talked about this in the last battle or not, but like certain characters in this game start off really weak, but they can be super, super strong. Like, Enri starts off kind of weak, but that's mostly because her level's low and her HP starts off low. But she grows pretty quickly. And she's a maid, so she has spells. Uh, let me go repair this ring, and then we'll I'll go show you Arthur's stats, and I think that'll be it. Repair. Okay. Or power ring. I don't want to forget this. Okay. Only thing I can use gold for. And some might be asking, okay, well, why can you use that for the shopkeeper? Why don't you make it harder on yourself? Because you haven't seen the next battle yet, that's why. <laughs> and if I didn't have the power ring, I could not beat the next battle. It would be impossible without losing everyone almost on my team. Uh, Arthur. He is level 4, so he's lower than Max and... Or not Max, May and Kent. <sighs> he has 9 HP, 6 defense... 15 attack, and 7 agility. He has... <laughs> he's two levels lower, but his defense is lower, his attack is lower, his HP is dramatically lower than everyone. I think his agility is actually, yeah, a little bit lower too. So Arthur looks horrible from the outset, right? He is the best centaur in the game, if I can get him leveled. Um, he is actually a... he will become a paladin, which is the normal class that knights turn into, but um, oh, that's something I haven't gone over either. Uh, if you look next to his name up there, the K-N-T, that's knight. All the characters have like an abbreviation for whatever their class is. I have not gone over that until now, and I'm sorry for that. So he becomes a paladin, which is like P-L-D-N or something. Um, he is the only centaur that will actually learn spells. He won't learn very many useful ones, but they will be an option for him if I can keep him around. And his overall stats just skyrocket once he's promoted. He's just really hard to level up because he starts off so weak, and especially because the next battle is ridiculous. But anyway, that'll be next time. And uh, I'm Novel Mike, thank you for watching, and next time I may want to cry. We'll see how it goes. Thanks. Bye.